Hey guys, it's Kim. Today I'm going to be doing the, well, <laughs> doing the Banana Cup 150cc Grand Prix and a random character. Let's just see who it will be. I get to rhyme every single time I introduce these games, I tell you. Like, it's crazy how much I get to rhyme. Like, I'm a poet, and I didn't know it. Aw, oh, come on. You know, I already played Mario, though, in this LP, and I feel like I should play other characters, so I'm going to come back to him maybe if I get him. But I want to play someone else. All right, we're gonna play shy guy. So let's go with something interesting. Sunset orange. Why not? I mean, I could have gone with black and be like A for pretty little PLL, you know, and have my hoodie. But we're gonna do this instead. Oh gosh, wow. Uh, we could do the Wiggler, but the weight. I mean, he's kind of lightweight. The speed's not that bad, not that great. Um. Oh, Ling's bike is amazing. Wow. I have to use it like it's a must. And we're going to use the... I want to use Triforce Parasail. Alright. This is Dry Dry Desert, Donut Plains 3, Royal Wasteway, and DK Jungle. Let's just go! Dry Dry Desert. For the thir for the perpetually thirsty. Like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Y'all know how much trouble this gave me in Double Dash. Like... Don't even play. Don't act like you forgot. You know what happened to me. Um, <laughs> I try to block it out of my memory as much as possible, though, but, you know. Yeah, it was a hot mess. They have actually changed things about it. Like, there is Oasis now. Oh, wow, this bike feels so weird with him on it. Like, it's so weird. I don't think I've driven this bike in a long time. Because it feels really strange when I'm steering it. <gasps> is the traction bad? That might... I don't know. It feels really weird. Like I didn't I did not expect this to be like that. It's really strange actually how it steers. Um I feel kind of uncomfortable on it actually. <laughs> Cuz I Oh no! Come on. I was practicing with a cart or what was it? It was a uh It was the teddy bear. I was practicing on that. So I did not have to contend with this weird you know steer you know, this weird steering. It's kind of strange. How do you steer with this thing? Oh! It's kind of like a real bike. Like, you have to lean all the way. So, it's you have to be wise about how you turn and when you turn. It's really strange to get used to. But, I kind of see how it works. A little bit. Alright. But, yeah. I want to know... Ooh! How many of you guys have actually ever been to the beach or the desert... Or anything like that. I've not been to either one. And I've lived in Florida for like... How many years now? Um, just about 16 years. As of this year, it'll be 16 years. So, that's kind of sad. In 16 years of my life, I've never been to a beach. And I've lived in Florida for that long. So, yeah. It's really weird to think I'll be 19 in like a few months. Or actually not even a few now. It's like a couple months and some days. Like, what in the world? I just looked up and I was 18 last year, and then now it's going to be 19. Ooh. Crazy. And then I'll be 20 before I know it. It's like, time goes by so fast, especially these days. You don't know what hit you. And <laughs> before you know it, you'll have wrinkles or you'll have gray hairs. And some people, like in my family, have gray hairs that they're born with and crazy stuff like that. Or they get it really young. Oh my gosh. But yeah. <laughs> I once found a blonde hair that fell from my head from my head and I don't have blonde hair so it's really weird but I don't know how to explain that phenomenon like how do you get blonde hair out of black and brown hair what in the world uh no that does not happen I don't think so if you guys know how that happened let me know but I honestly don't think it was maybe it wasn't mine somehow it's really weird maybe I hugged someone that day and they had blonde hair and maybe it ended up in mine that's really strange or on my shirt I have no idea. Oh, no! I'm doing so badly. How did I end up here? I mean, the bike kind of messed me up because I'm not used to this bike, but... Yeesh. My goodness. That was terrible. Fourth place? Oof. I have to redeem myself. Like, I have to redeem Shy Guy. Or he'll never show his face. Donut Plains 3. What in the world? Why is there, like, one Yoshi up there? That's really weird. I guess they're trying to be inclusive and, you know. Oh, there's more. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, there was only one Yoshi in that tower. One Rapunzel Yoshi. Coming up. I'm so strange. 
Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, in my opinion, one that finds this course completely aesthetic. Like, it's really something. Like, the vibrant colors, the water on the road. Like, seriously, you can see a reflection in it and be like Mulan. Who is that broad I see staring straight, patting her weave? Like, seriously, you could do a whole reflection rendition up in that water on the road. Hopefully we can get used to these steering mechanics, because I don't really like this. I don't think I'm ever going to do this bike again now, because I don't like it at all. It's not cute. I like Link and all. I love Link, actually. I like his bike, um, how it looks, appearance-wise, but I don't like the steering. Uh, I don't like it at all. If I had known <laughs> beforehand, I would have never, ever done that. But oh well. Consider it a challenge, I suppose. Whew. Although challenges should be fun, you know, shouldn't they? I mean, I would think they're fun. Otherwise, why do it? You sh I mean, you should always push yourself anyway. Like, that's what I'm doing this year. I'm, pr I'm really going to be... Oh, no! I'm really going to be testing my limits like Ariana. Like, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm really going to be trying different things that are outside of the box and out of my comfort zone. And I'm doing that now with a story. I'm writing about Stockholm Syndrome, which is really crazy for me. It's a thriller, and it's about... You know, if you guys don't know what Stockholm Syndrome is, it's basically where a victim of kidnapping, you know, someone that's taken captive, starts to sympathize with their captor or fall for them, like have affection for them, which to me is like Beauty and the Beast, you know? Belle, she goes in her father's place, like, actually no, that's more like Mulan, but, you know, she takes her father's place, lives in the Beast's castle, and eventually falls for him. So I kind of feel like that's a form of Stockholm Syndrome, you know? But whatever. Whatever. That would make it like 10 times darker <laughs> than it already is, but darker than skulls in Gaston's eyes or Beast's eyes. But anyway, we got first place. Yas! I did terribly with my steering, but oh well. Who cares, right? <laughs> Who cares? Royal, well, <laughs> Royal Raceway. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. I had to. <laughs> I had to. It's royal. I had to. Royals. Speaking of which, when's Lord gonna make more music? I think. Or put out more music, more specifically, because I think she's making it. Maybe. I mean, she couldn't just walk away, honestly. She won a Grammy at 17. She could just walk away from the whole thing. And no one would even bat an eye. Except those that want music from her, but, like, she doesn't even have to do it. Once you win a Grammy, you're set, basically. Honestly. That's the, like, the highest esteemed Broccoli Award you, you can get in music. So, you know, you don't have to make any more after that, but I, I would like to see more from her, honestly. She has interesting lyrics. I mean, let's be real. She has good lyrics. I like Team. I like, what's the other one? Um, Glory and Gore. Uh... That's all I can think of at the top of my head, but yeah, those are good songs. No! Come on, man. I'm a huge I'm a huge fan of like lyrics with like lyricism that's really good, like euphemisms in it and all that. Like that's why I like Melanie Martinez and Halsey because I like the way they lyricize, basically. Oh! Ah! Oh man. You know, we're going to pretend this we're going to pretend pretend that's never happened because um yeah it leaves much to be desired about my gameplay right now but oh well okay wario has mushrooms so i'm safe as far as getting hit and i could even boost off him like i did so it's all good in the neighborhood it's all good look at those swan boats i've been in one one time i think and that was it and it's not easy to pedal i think i've been in a swan boat a canoe um I've been on a glass bottom boat, which is so scary because I got, I did not want to step on the glass, like, no way. I thought it would break beneath my feet and there's all these creatures beneath you, so I would not want, want to attempt that. Other people stood on the glass, I refused, like, no way. Um, I've been to a lot of things, actually, because I've done so many field trips from daycare and school, like, it's crazy. I've been, like, all over the state I'm in, so it's crazy. Pretty much. Alright. 
Don't fail me now, shy guy. Don't fail me now. We got to redeem ourselves. So you can be free of that mask and show your face and not cower and hide in shame. Yes, I'm trying. I am trying so <laughs> Oh man. He could totally apply for Ambu with that mask though. Like, for real. They always wear masks when they're on duty. Um, so yeah, he could, he could pull it off. Yoss! Third place. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll set that, I guess. Why not? DK Jungle. Ooh. I actually like- I really like this one. And what are those things on the wall? Those carvings? Hmm. And then there's the parrot from Aladdin right there. <laughs> Pretty much. There's the parrot from Aladdin. You'll see frogs on the road like it's Naveen from Princess and the Frog. Like, there's so many different creatures in here. I wonder if DK is in the race. Yes, he is. Wow. He is in the race and so is Mario. I had to look down on my game shackle, but... Yeah, they're both in, in this race. Interesting. I personally think this is one of my favorites in the game next to, uh, what's the thing? It's the ice one. Shy, or Sherbert Land, something like, like that. Like, it's in Double Dash, and it looks gorgeous. It reminds me of Christmas. I miss Christmas already. I mean, I missed it, like, the day after <laughs> it was over. And when it was ending, I missed it. Oh, no! I did not mean to use that! I don't know what I was trying to do. I think I was trying to do a trick and then I mixed the buttons up. Wow. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Way to go. I mean, look at these things blowing their stale breath in our faces. Like that song, Stir, Stir Your Breath Stink by KJ52. <laughs> yes. I mean, for real. Halitosis. Need to see a dentist, basically. If you have breath that bad, that kicking. Um, kicks like a mule <laughs> through a barn door. Um, I mean, there's different causes for a bad breath other than halitosis. I mean, oh no! You can have bad breath from cavities. You can have bad breath from the things you drink and eat. You can have bad breath from, I don't know, not having enough saliva, so being dehydrated. So that's why when chewing gum, um, when you chew gum, it actually helps improve your breath. Because not only the flavor, but because it produces saliva, which clears away some of the bad breath you experience. No! I just wanted to live. I, I want to live. Like, skillet. I want to live. Like, can you please spare me? Just this one time. Let me spare you one time. Alright, let's see if I can make this. Although, I'm not going to attempt it on a bike. Never mind. I was going to try to go the other path, but I just remember the bike I'm on will not be okay with that. <laughs> it would probably be a hot mess, so I'd rather be safe than sorry and regret my life. Oh no! Oh man, what? What is happening? I'm getting robbed. I'm getting bumped off the course like it's the 70s all over again. Uh bumping us a ball, yeah. Shake your groove thing, shake your groove thing, that failed. Show them how we do it now. They had all those songs, like they had Knock on Wood and that song and Scream, <laughs> extremely goofy movie. And that's one of my favorite movies. Yes, watched it like a thousand times on tape and on Netflix and on DVD. So, yeah, I never get tired of it. Bradley Uppercrust the third. And then Gamma's Pack It Up. I love that. <laughs> Gamma's, let's pack it up. Oh gosh, I did so badly in this race, I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry, shy guy, I did you so dirty. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm so I know, oh, I'm sorry. I feel so sad. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lakitu. Yeah, you stink, girl, so might as well go on and go home and go to sleep because that's why I'm clapping for you. I want you to click on the next screen and get out of my face. Anyway, <laughs> I cannot believe I did not even place. Actually, I kind of can believe that. To be honest, I feel like that's so legit. Anyway, next part we'll be going on to the Tanuki Leaf Cup, which is Wario Stadium, Sherbert Land, Music Park, and Yoshi Valley. I hope you all enjoy and I'll see you next time. Bye guys and smiles all around.